I'm giving you some more angle, hamster. Moments like these I can never hold on to I need a release I never could be true I could be so, so good to you, good to you But I know that you don't deserve, deserve it too What's up guys, so if you notice we are just cruising in a slightly tuned 370Z with a nice wide track stance here in the city. We're just doing a little cruising and drifting in a very mildly built 370Z. We are in first person right now just cruising to the city. Uh, we are just going to have a little fun with this car here in the city and then I will get to some clips from the other night. Hamster and I were having a little fun doing some tandems or trying to do some tandems in a drift zones um, the other night. I will include some of those clips at the end of this episode, but I figured I wanted to build this 370Z because it has the ability to increase track width, which I thought was very cool. So I did do the small build in the beginning if you guys did not, you know, catch that. Um, so we're just cruising it here. I, I really hate that gear glitch. Having to stay on the gear for so long. Oh, we just clipped that. So I will be switching it probably to third person view here zoom, but I wanted to uh, appease a lot of the uh, people been asking me about first person versus third person. So we're cruising a little bit here in first person. Gotta make sure I stay long on the clutch. Long on the clutch, there we go, because that's the whole clutch glitch. You gotta stay long on the clutch, otherwise it decides to uh, completely screw up and do the little grinding noise. This car is slightly underpowered, like I said, but it is a mild build. So I got a 400 horsepower. I say slightly underpowered, but that's really high for a lot of uh, street-tuned cars. But for a Forza game, that's very underpowered. So I do love the 370Z, and I love the uh, ability to increase track width and stuff like that now in this game. So, I am having a lot of fun with these uh, more lower horsepower built cars, like that's, that 350Z I had. I had a lot of fun with it, that's why I decided to build a 370. 
and rip the streets here today for a little laid back, uh, just cruising, drifting, nothing super extraordinary with uh, racing or anything, just a little more laid back, just the car itself. So if you didn't, this car does just have very mild power additives, just suspension and a, and a rear diff, because those are all uh, very crucial to make a drift car. I don't think it's gonna power to this really big loop. But we're gonna try. Ugh. So if you guys do not drift low horsepower cars, it's actually very fun to throw around one of these uh, lower horsepower cars is a lot of fun. It does take not as much effort, I would say, especially in low speed sections. They're quite easy to drift and they can be a lot of fun. So a simple 350Z like the tune that I have open in the marketplace or a simple 370Z. Probably need to go third gear there. A simple 370Z or an S13 or an S14 would be quite well. But like I said, I will uh, show you some little tandem clips from Hamster and I the other night. This game with the track width extending makes stock looking cars that I wouldn't have normally liked to drive because of the, uh, the wheels poking in so much a lot more fun to build. Um, this is literally, like I said, a simple 370 on some Yankee wheels. I don't think we're going to make that, oh man, 30% off on your entire store because we just wrecked into the front. So it goes, like I said before, I will be doing some auditions for Team Evil Rabbit, the main team. I got 25 spots, three of them are filled, as I mentioned before. So if you guys want to be a part of the main team, I'm looking for people that, you know, have some, uh, drifting skill obviously some drifting and racing because we're trying to get a, a good team together to do some team tandems as well as do some leaderboard racing and stuff like that so i will be hot posting additions prerequisites for that is uh be a member of the uh the club which is uh, available to join it's free to join you don't have to uh be invited you can just join it search it all of which you know just search hashtag EVL or Team Evil Rabbit. Maybe be able to find it. Let's see what we can do here. I think got that sign. I think I'm going the wrong way, but it's cool. There we go. So like I said, I've been having a lot of fun just drifting these lower horsepower streetcars. I figured I would just bring it to the city because uh haven't done much city drifting. Not a place I've uh, been too into recently because I've uh, been working more on racing. But I did uh, purchase uh, Fairlawn Manor so I can now fast travel anywhere I want in the map. Uh, it is not free because I do not have all my uh, fast travel boards yet. But it is... Uh, a nice feature to be able to fast travel anywhere you want on the map. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road like I'm in the US. Get wrecked. Tourist. Me being a tourist to the UK. Get wrecked. My teammate Urgent would probably be very pissed at me. I don't think this is going to have enough power. Nope. Not enough power to do the really big roundabout. Ugh. That's the one flaw. There's a lot of big... Uh, drift sections in this map and uh, having a lack of power is uh, definitely a Achilles heel on that one so just been cruising around in this car having a lot of fun do you guys have street builds what's your favorite street build I will be doing some subscriber builds here soon I have gotten some requests for some subscriber subscriber built cars so I will be doing some uh, subscriber requested drift builds in this game um, one of which is from a longtime subscriber to the channel, so definitely excited to bring him his tune and bring him a car. Still debating if I'm going to just tune the car and uh, maybe put it up on the auction house and uh, allow people to get a chance to buy it. Members of the channel will know it uh, a lot better than just, say, a normal person. So that's something I'm playing odds with as well as putting the tune up. 
for you guys to download and buy because um, I'm trying to get my uh, tuner score up because I would like to be able to sell some of the cars in the auction place for a lot higher value of money than what it says we can so you have to have a higher paint and tuner score so if you guys want to support the channel in the game make sure you guys check out my sticker sets there is a team evil rabbit logo out there the new te logos out there some energy innovations logos of course big thank you to energy innovations being a big part of the channel so i'm also very excited torque drift is coming this week super excited it's supposed to be coming out uh, end of this week so look forward for torque drift videos to come back to the channel from grease monkey games Ooh, that was a nice little uh nice little drop in so like i said do you guys have street cars that you like oh just tap do you guys like drifting street cars because i know i've been seeing a lot of people saying you know i've been out here with a thousand horsepower cars and i'm here you know having more fun in my little 200 300 or 400 horsepower like s13 and stuff and that was the that was the idea of this build was to just build a nice little car and i liked how the z handled so i figured the 370 might handle just as good and then i found out that i could do track with and it was game over there it was uh let's build a street 370 and just rip it a little uh, donut around the stop sign or a stop light traffic light so i hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit just a little more of a laid back drift video kind of just you know get a chance to just you know have fun with the car and uh mess around with the car which I've been having a lot of fun messing around with a lot of other cars. Ooh, that was money. So, oh, that's not money. <laughs> oh, correct. So I've been having a lot of fun doing these cruises and drives. So if you guys like seeing these cruise videos, these drive videos, just more of a laid back, just take a look at the car video. And look at that. I hit the wall. I must have knocked my alignment off. My wheel is totally tweaked out. I'm going to have to recalibrate my wheel. So, it's a good time to end it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which you found in the description box below. And as always, thank you guys for coming to the channel. Coming back and watching these videos. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. The channel is climbing. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. So, hopefully we can get to 2,000 here very soon. Hopefully, maybe by the end of the week. Or end of next week. Looking to hit that. So, because it was uh, trying to get to 1,000 now. We're almost at 2. And it was like that. So, you know where to follow me. It's all in the description box below. I'm going to leave you with those clips from a hamster and I the other night. Excuse me. A little bit of air in my uh, lungs a little more than I needed. So until next time, I will catch you guys on the next one. I hope you guys enjoy these tandem clips or tandem attempts from hamster and I. So I'll see you guys next time. Go ahead. That's what I wanted. This is one of my favorite drift zones for tandeming. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> Start to sell like their gear through that section. Fourth. I'm in fifth. <laughs> but I have an aftermarket well, transfer. I was just in fourth and it's fog. Uh, you should be okay in fourth. Oh, sh <laughs> This car breaks traction right away. I forgot. Did you get three stars on it yet? Oh, I got it. Yep, there it is. All right, let me try following you. Oh, I'm not that far behind. How? What's your score? Forty-seven. Yeah, I got fifty.
The highest in the world, I think, is 74. But I feel like that's an all-wheel drive car. Like, I wish you could filter it to just show real drive cars. You know? Let me see if you can, actually. Yeah. Oh, I see you right underneath me. I'm giving you some more angle, hamster. <laughs> if I just helped you beat my score, I'll be pissed. <laughs> nah, I only got 43. That, that, nah. that, uh, my initiations are a little bit wild. I just ride the wall of my rear and climbs off the ground. That was a pretty cool, that was a pretty cool initiation together, though. Oops. Ow! Oh, look, we got a fanboy. Might be a fanboy, we don't know. Oh, hamster. I had to do a really fancy correction there so I didn't hit you. Doors! Just a little bump, I'm sorry. Oh, Trent. Wait, wait, what? We just switched positions <laughs> mid tandem. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Give me one minute, I'll be right back. Turn around. Oh, I want something.